yes, we're finally gonna put some hand guards on. Hopefully later is better than never still, but when you don't put hand guards on right away and you're riding off road and this happens, and that, and a little bit of this, you end up breaking your brake lever on one of those. It's time to put them on. We're gonna do the Smoky 500 and the Georgia Traverse soon, and uh, yeah, we're gonna need these. So I'm going first with the Royal Enfield, the uh, manufacturers. I love the way they look, clean, match the bike, uh, test these out, and uh, possibly down the line go to Barkbusters if nothing else. But let's get started, probably, with replacing this. All right, very simply, a little hard to see underneath here, but they're saying it is a 10 millimeter. And that seems to be correct. Start loosening this up a bit. Finish this off. And there we go. I'm going to simply put that back into play. Pretty straightforward on this. All right, let's move on to why we are here. Finally protecting our hands. Silks, let me try that again, six millimeter wrench. This should be a very straightforward install. Definitely a long screw. So we're gonna get these replaced. These are the factory Royal Enfield um, hand guards for these. They come with a couple different things. They come with a replacement end, much lighter weight end compared to the factory. And if you can see those, they come with a longer screw as well for the end. Now, this, uh, you know, these are Royal Enfield factory, so that's all. Uh, Indian Loctite right there, which I've heard good and bad things about, but the screw is definitely longer, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to put some Loctite on there as well. These look to be about the same size. Um, I'm going to try with my factory heavier item on there. You know, why not keep the bike heavier? This is well overdue. Uh, <laughs> thousands of miles off road, Trans America Trail, and everything else. You can watch the videos, I'll pop them below. Um, and I've needed it forever, but starting uh, in about a week or so here, we're going to be doing the Smoky 500 and the Georgia Traverse. And I have needed these on forever, so I really want to get this done before I leave so I don't break this off. But also, I've, I've been knuckle busting with uh, uh, some trees and such, so I need to get this done. All right, Loctite is on. Get this positioned a little bit. Try to come out, I think, level, uh, maybe just a little up. I mean, most of the brush is coming from above. Let's take a look how this looks. I think that hits the spot. so ridiculous how long I waited for this. That's about level. Um, wind should be good. Brush should be good. Let's rinse and repeat on the other side. Okay. Now, try to get these lined up. I think that looks even. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no shame. Have the wife come out and make sure that they're even. You know, it's got to look good as well. No shame, guys. It's all about getting these on right. Make our final twist and hopefully not move anything since they are now wife approved. 
Quick and simple, easy to do, install is done, ready for the Smokey 500. Yes, if you watch my videos, I should have done this like six months ago. Would have saved a little knuckle buster when I fell hard in the desert, hit my shoulder. I'll pop that up and uh, wouldn't have broke my brake lever either. But you know, live and learn, we're ready to go. Stay tuned for the Smokey 500 and the Georgia Diverse guys. We're gonna have some fun. Keep adventuring. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate the support. Give me a little love, leave a comment here, and uh, I normally do something wrong. You can tell me what I did wrong. Pretty easy on this one, though. And uh, we'll see you on the next adventure, guys.